What's up guys, welcome to your 64th Android tutorial. I believe it is. Let me check. Just to make sure. 63rd. 63rd Android tutorial. Feels like the 64th for some reason. Um, basically what I want you guys to do in this tutorial is, uh, you know, either we can work with that plus that you guys created earlier or just create a new little image uh, that's 75 pixels by 75 and save it in your resource folder. I called it Green Ball. Um, if you guys want to follow along exactly um, with the code, but uh, then just clean the project, make sure everything is working. And now what we're going to do is we're going to create our actual view, which is going to hold our animation or or um, whatever we're going to want to do with this. I haven't, I'm not quite sure exactly what I want to do um, yet because. You don't really want to use this technique so much because it's going to interfere with the user interface um, or input stuff. But okay, first let's just get into it before I confuse you guys. Let's create a new class called My Bring Back, or whatever you guys define this class name as. The computer doesn't crash here, so you can either uh, go new class like this, or I think you could probably just hover over that and create a class that way but make sure it's the same as whatever you define your variable type as so my bring back like that and now we have this class called my bring back what we're gonna do in this class is instead of extending the activity class we're gonna say extends uh, view and uh, you know we gotta import view and then it says hey uh, we're basically going to have to use a constructor. And you're like, what's a constructor? Well, basically, when we go back into our graphics effects, FX, or GFX, I'll be switching between these um, back and forth. So if you guys get confused where I'm at, it's one of those two. Um, basically, what we're doing is we're saying, hey, we want a new my bring back object. We're going to pass in some information. What are we passing in? Well, we're passing in this referring to the context of this class that's what we're passing in so now we need to get kind of a receiver basically this through the football and we need someone to catch it so basically um, this constructor is gonna catch that information and create or you know construct something from the information that it gets so what, all we're gonna do is we can either probably just hover over here again and it'll add it for us um, because as you can see you can add as many print parameters as you want and uh, so we're just going to add the one that takes in a context because again we didn't pass in a context and attribute set or contracts and attribute set or int I mean those are basically probably the ones that most likely you're going to use but uh, you know you can also create your own type of constructor for the most part but since again our takes in a context we're going to click this and there we go we set up a constructor and now when we pass in the context of this class, it's basically going to be like, okay, we got some context um, right here, and we're going to call it context so we can use it within this opening bracket. And within here, we can define some variables, all that good stuff. So let's set up let's set up a variable. Well, first we want something uh, that's going to happen or be able to be used within our whole class. So we're going to say bitmap, and we're going to call it G ball for green ball. And we aren't going to define it yet. We're just going to say, hey, there's going to be this variable. Look out for it. And now within our constructor, let's define it within there. So we're going to say g ball equals, and I believe we've done, I believe we've done setting up bitmaps before from a resource folder. But just in case if you guys forgot, we're going to say bitmap factory, because you know repetition is always good. Dot decode um, resources decode is it resource which one yeah decode resource right here with the resource and the int and then we're gonna click that and uh, for this first one we're gonna say get resource method right here and then for this one it's gonna be our actual ID with in our drawable folder that we just added and again I called mine green ball so it's gonna be r dot uh, drawable dot uh, green ball right there and basically we've set up that variable type um, now I think that's probably all I'm gonna cover for this tutorial I don't want to get into too much yet but basically the thing that we did is we created a constructor and when you create a constructor also 
Um, as you notice, it's the same name as our class name. So a constructor has to be the same name as your class name is. And then, you know, you give it the parameters that's going to take in or the information it's looking for. And then basically when we create a new object, like we did in our graphics here, uh, you can give some information to start it up or give it some, you know, specific information. And then the mind bring back class is going to be like, okay, oh yeah, I'm going to process this stuff. I'm going to create this unique thing for you and pass it back. So it's giving it a new object or a new instance, which is what we are creating here for our, our view. So I don't know if that made sense or not, but basically that's just how we can create a constructor. So I will catch you guys in the next tutorial, um, and we'll get into some, you know, a little bit of animation. So see you then. Peace.